everyone, QB King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you how to, the latest method to install Clockwork Mod or a custom recovery on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. A lot of you guys know that with Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, actually it is unsafe to do a factory reset with stock recovery and there were tweaks that needed to be made to a custom recovery so you could actually do a factory reset. It's called the EMMC bug, um, if you've heard of it or not. But anyways, uh, in regards to that, you need to be careful with uh, what recovery you use to install ROMs. Um, the safest one is the one I'm about to show you to install. You should be able to install any ROM with it um, without any repercussions. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, what we're going to need to do is actually go on our device, go to Menu, go to Settings, scroll down, go down to Developer Options, and under Developer Options, check USB Debugging and hit OK. So make sure USB Debugging is checked under Developer Options. Once we are done there, we're going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this website right here. Before I get into this, again, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to my man SF Hub for this, be sure to thank him. He always does so much for uh, the Epic 4G Touch and the Android community, so be sure to thank him. Anyways, what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and scroll down, and first of all, you will see right here, number one, prerequisite checklist. We are gonna need to make sure we have drivers installed. We're actually gonna need to make sure we're rooted. So if you have not rooted your device yet, go ahead and do so now. I will link to my video on how to in the description, so you need to make sure you're rooted first. Uh, also, once you're, you're rooted, you should have the drivers installed on your PC, but if you don't, download and install your, uh, those drivers on your PC. Next, what we're gonna need to do is download another file. Uh, the one I recommend is uh, this one right here, E4GT Auto SFX EXE. So download this EXE file. Just go ahead and click light if you're on FF18. Full would actually be basically all the old uh, ice cream sandwich kernels and gingerbread uh, ones as well. So I'm just gonna download the light version. So again, E4GT Auto SFX.EXE light. Uh, click on that, download it. It'll be an EXE file. What we can do now is go into our downloads. And once we are in our downloads, you will see this right here, E4GT. And now what we're gonna need to do is actually double click on it. So go ahead and double click and hit run. It's gonna actually auto extract for you and it should open up. So you'll see it is, is running through its process. Let it do its thing. All right, and here we go. As you can see, Samsung Epic 4G Touch root install package. Now, once this comes up, the screen comes up, it should automatically come up. You can actually plug your Epic 4G Touch into your PC. Again, as I said, you need to make sure you have drivers installed. So go ahead and plug it on in up at the top. I believe it should say USB debugging enabled. Uh, maybe not. So it looks like it doesn't say it. So if it doesn't say USB debugging enabled, don't be worried because mine doesn't either. Uh, it looks like mine's installing device driver software. So let it do it. Let it do that uh, if it needs to. But anyways, here we go. So once plugged in, USB debugging is on. What we are going to need to do is select D. So go ahead and uh, type in the letter D right there into the script. Hit enter. It's going to take us to this page. What we are going to need to do, you will see there are a bunch of different options here. Uh, the option we are going to want to select, which is the safest, is letter E. Install boot image FF18 Clockwork Mod AGAT SRC. So that is the one we're going to want to st uh, install. If for any reason you want to go back to stock recovery, you can select G, where it says boot image FF18. That's completely stock, but the one you're going to want to install is E. Uh, where it says uh, Clockwork Mod AGAT SRC. So go ahead and type in the letter E right there into the script and hit enter. So you will see, uh, verify USB debugging is enabled, everything's there, and go ahead and press the enter key to continue. It says waiting for device. Uh, if for any reason it doesn't find your device, um, go ahead and try a different cable, try a different USB port, try reinstalling drivers, all that good stuff. Uh, but uh, anyways, here's what we're gonna need to do. Make sure our screen is on actually. And now at this point, go ahead and press any key to continue, and it should say it has been granted super user permissions. If for any reason it brings up a screen asking you for super user permissions, hit allow. Uh, but otherwise, uh, let it uh, go ahead and run through. It looks like it's doing its thing. Again, the, the phone shouldn't really be doing much. Um, the script's gonna do all the work. And once the script is done, actually, it should automatically reboot your device. So go ahead and be patient. Let it do its thing. It's running through its script. 
There we go, it says reboot, getting ready to reboot. Uh, go ahead and press any key to continue. Cleaning up files. Let's see if our phone automatically reboots, which it should. Um, it says if it takes longer than 30 seconds to initiate reboot, just manually reboot by uh, using the power button or you can pull the battery, either one. Uh, but uh, it says it shouldn't, it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds. All right, so it says activity complete. Press any key to continue. You'll see my device is automatically rebooting. Press any key to continue it brings you back to that main menu. And that is it. So we can unplug our device. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let our phone boot up, and I will be back. All right, so phone just booted up. Looks like it's going to optimize applications again. Again, this is, it varies depending on how many applications you do have. As I said, you can unplug your device. You do not need it plugged in once it automatically reboots your device. All right, and here we go. Our phone has now booted up. Again, you should still be rooted. Uh, super user in your app drawer right there. But we now have a custom recovery installed. So let's go ahead and check it out. So to get into our custom recovery, where we are going to need to power off the device. Again, this custom recovery, you should be able to install any ROM, whether it be ice cream sandwich, whether you want to install a gingerbread ROM. It really shouldn't matter. You should be able to install CM9, AOKP, all those good ROMs. This recovery should be completely safe. So, once powered off, uh, fully powered off, what we're going to need to do is press and hold volume up and power button at the same time. Keep it held down until the first Samsung screen lights up and then let go. So let go, once it says Samsung Galaxy S2, and then it should automatically take us into that custom recovery that we just installed. You will see it says AGAT recovery, which is based off of Clockwork Mod. So here we go. This would be AGAT recovery. This would be our safe recovery. Um, I would make sure any ROM you install has a safe recovery. Usually the when you go to the ROM thread, you should be able to read whether or not it has a safe recovery to install certain ROMs or not. But let's go ahead and get into it. So to navigate through this custom recovery, you use volume up and down and power button to select. So that's basically all you do. Uh, what I'll recommend doing is actually going ahead and making an Android backup right now. Just something to always have. Usually you'll make one before you install a ROM or something in case something goes wrong. But you can go to backup and restore and just hit backup and it's going to make an Android backup for you. You can backup to internal SD card as well. So go ahead and do that now if you, if you would like to. Uh, just in case anything goes wrong, you have an Android backup to restore store. Uh, but that really would be about it. As you can see, you have your custom recovery. It says AGAT recovery. This would be probably about the safest one at the moment. So you can install any ROM, anything like that. I'll be doing videos on how to install those ROMs very soon. So expect uh, videos on them. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.